Hello everyone and welcome to chapter 5 lesson 5 date functions In the previous lessons we learned about character functions and numeric functions Here we are going to learn about date functions In this table we have three functions sysdate, current underscore date, current underscore timestamp Sysdate is a function that retains the date of the operating system on which your database exists Current underscore date which is a function that retains the current date of the user session Current underscore timestamp it is a function that retains the current timestamp of the user session We have also here six date functions Add underscore months it is a function that can be used to add specific number of months to a specific date Months between which is retains number of months between two specific dates Next day, which is return the date of the upcoming day in a specific date. Last underscore day retains the date of the last day in the month of a specified date. Round and trunk can be used also with dates. Round retains rounded date to the nearest month or year. Trunk retains truncated date by month or year. Let's have a look at some examples to understand how to use these date functions. Here in the first example, select sysdate from dual. So as we learned before, if we want to just retain the output of an arithmetic operations or specific functions without reading data from tables, we can complete our statement by reading from dual. So here select sysdate from dual. Sysdate, as we said before, it is a function that retains the date of the operating system where the database exists. So as we can see here, it display 14 December 20. The default display format of the date, as we said before, it is DDMONRR. -R. It displays the day, the three characters abbreviation of the month, and the year represented by two digits. In the second example here, select current underscore date, current underscore timestamp from dual. Current underscore date, it is a function that retains the date of the session. So this is the date of the session displayed as ddmonrr this is the day this is the month abbreviation three characters and this is the two digits representing the year current underscore timestamp it is a function that retains the timestamp of the user session so the default displayed format of the timestamp is ddmonrr and this is the hours minutes seconds fraction of seconds am or pm and this is the time zone region so this is the timestamp of the user session here in example 3 select sysdate so this is the output of the sysdate as we can see it is 14 December 20 here we are using round sysdate month round and trunk can be used also with dates here we are using round sysdate month that means look at the days of the date if it is between 1 to 15 Round says date month result in the first day of the current month. If the days of the date between 16 and 31, the roundation result in the first day of the next month. So as we can see here, the says date is 14 of December 2020. Round says date month. This is the days of the date. It is 14. That means the round in this case result in the first day of the current month which is 1 of December 20 if the sys date is for example 17 of December not 14 of December round sys date month 17 is between 16 and 31 so the round in this case will result in the first day of the next month which is 1 of January 2021 trunk sys date month that means return to the first day of the current month the current date is 14 of december returns to the first day that means 1 of december here select this date so this is the sys date round sys date year trunk sys date year from dual round sys date year here we will look at the month if the month between 1 to 6 that means from january to june the round in this case result in january 1st of the current year if the month of the date between 7 to 12, that means between July to December, the round in this case will result in the 1st of January of next year. So here we have December. 
December between July and December that means the round in this case retains the 1st of January of the next year trunks is date year that means return the date to the 1st of January of the current year we have here 14 December 20 that means return to 1 of January 20 so this is the output of trunk this date year 1 of January 20 in example 5 here select this date so this is the this date add months this date comma six that means add six months to the this date so this is this is date 14 December 20 if you add six months to this is date that means it is 14 of June 2021 last day this date retains the date of the last day in the month the last day in the month of December which is 31 December 20 for example if this is date retains 3rd of March 21 and you run the last day it will retain 31 March 21 the date of the last day in the month 31 March 21 next day this date Friday that means retain the date of the upcoming Friday for example here this is date retains 14 of December 20 this is Monday this is Monday what is the date of the upcoming Friday 14 Monday 15 Tuesday, 16 Wednesday, 17 Thursday, 18 Friday. So it retains 18 December 20. It retains the date of the upcoming Friday after the this date here. Months between retains number of months between two days. So this is the first day, which is the this date, and this is the second date. Retains number of months between two dates. So this is the output of months between it retains number of months between the this date and 1st of June 20 the last example here select last name department ID this date minus higher date as days where department ID equal 90 so this is the last name and this is the department ID and here in the last expression this date minus higher date date minus date retains number of days between these two dates so as we can see here this is the number of days between the sys date and the higher date of each employee. So in this lesson we learned how to use date functions in Oracle select statement. I hope this video was informative for you and thank you for watching.